Hi, everyone. Welcome to this introductory lecture to Excel, one of the most popular spreadsheet programs used for data analysis and management. My name is Dr. Wendy Pierre. I have more than 20 years of experience in teaching Excel and science courses. I will be your guide and instructor for this lecture. In this lecture, we will cover different topics in Excel, such as workbook, worksheet, column, row, cells, and more. Again, welcome to our course. So first of all, let's open Excel software. For that, I'm going to the Start button, and I am clicking on Excel from here. So let's start with the basics. So when you open the Excel, you will see a blank workbook with a grid of cells. So I am choosing this blank workbook. So now, here you can see a lot of cells, and each cell is identified with a unique name. For example, if I'm choosing this cell, it has a name A1. How? A is the column here, and 1 is the row. Same thing if I am choosing any random cell. For example, this one, it will be E6. E is the column, and 6 is the row. So all of these cells are named this way. How do you enter data into the cells? To enter data into the cell, simply click on the cell and start typing. You can enter number text and even formulas that perform calculation using the data in other cells. To form a tetanus cell, you can change the font, color, and size of the text. You can also format the cell itself, including its border, background, color, and alignment. For example, if I'm choosing this cell, I can change the font size, font style, right? Any style, we can choose it from here. Okay, do you guys understand? All right, let's continue. So I can choose the color of this. Let's continue. Okay, I can also fill this box with the color like this. All right. Any color we can fill it with to make it more attractive and more colorful or the way you want it to be. Do you guys understand? All right. So, we have designed this course in the form of modules purposely, and after all the modules, you will hopefully get a command on Excel. Okay, so for now, we will see some built-in programs as well. For example, if I'm putting equal to and then I'm putting sum, these all are some built-in programs. We will see how we can work with them. Okay? And we can also work with the pie charts, with the bar charts. This is the chart window, and we can work with all of them. There are some advanced features like this power chart, which allows you to summarize and analyze large data set quickly and easily with powered table. You can filter, sort, and group your data to uncover pattern inside. And Excel allows you to automate repetitive tasks using macros. We will see what macros basically do and what they are used for. These are all the options we will see in the upcoming lectures. At the end of this whole course, you will hopefully have a good command on Excel. I would just say that Excel is a powerful tool for organizing and analyzing data with its intuitive interface and extensive range of features. It is an essential program for anyone working with data, and it is very helpful, and it can be a good thing for your businesses while saving your data. In conclusion, I hope this introductory lecture has provided you with a solid foundation to embark on your journey with Excel, one of the most widely used spreadsheet programs for data analysis and management. We began by opening the Excel software and explored the basic structure of a blank workbook, understanding how cells are uniquely named based on their column and row positions. We learned how to enter data into cells, whether it's numbers, 
text or formulas for calculations. Moreover, we explored text formatting and cell formatting options to make our spreadsheets not only informative, but also visually appealing. In the upcoming lectures, we will explore Excel's wide array of features and functionalities from basic to advanced, with a focus on practical application. By the end of this course, you can expect to have a firm grasp of Excel, equipping you with the skills to effectively organize, analyze, and present data. Excel is indeed a powerful tool for data management, and your mastery of it will undoubtedly prove invaluable for personal and professional use. So, I encourage you to stay engaged, practice what you learn, and don't hesitate to ask questions along the way. Excel has the potential to save time, enhance productivity, and unlock new possibilities in your data-related tasks. Thank you for choosing our course, and I look forward to guiding you through the upcoming lectures. Happy learning!